A 13-year-old female golden retriever, weak and lethargic, could barely get up even with assistance. What could have gone wrong with her? Apart from being weak, she was also observed to have bloody discharge. Whilst uninformed owners might just pass off lethargy and a bleeding vagina as a really nasty period, what actually lies behind this is more complicated and dangerous than it may seem. This dog is actually suffering from open pyometra, a bacterial infection of the uterus. So what causes open pyometra? Well, Several weeks after a dog's heat period, hormonal and structural conditions in the uterus provide an appropriate environment for bacteria which can enter to grow. This is when pyometra starts to manifest. Open pyometra is termed open as the infected discharge can be passed out from the opened cervix. This makes diagnosis easier as the signs are more apparent. Swelling of the uterus is less as the infected discharge is not built up. However, the excessive blood loss from this infection greatly dehydrates and weakens dogs. And for this already very old dog, this was no laughing matter. During consultation, the Golden Retriever's condition fulfilled most of the signs that are characteristic of open pyometra. 14 January 2015, this Golden Retriever, how old is she now? 12. Fem 12. Two and a half, huh? mm. had vagina discharge six days ago, right? Yes. Dark red or sticky one, right? Yes. But now, after treatment by the other vet, with antibiotics and painkillers, there's no more discharge. And uh, the blood test shows that there's uh, infection, yeah. leukocytosis. And uh, the f uh, below there is a uh, swelling of the uterus. And uh, the diameter is about uh, Three set three centimeter. So we will see after operation whether it's three centimeter the width of the tubes. Other than that, how's the dog now? You add a bit, right? Yes. Then we see the color, the pale. You see the membrane, the the blood, the red blood cells are low. And uh, there's only vomiting once only, right? Yes. Six days ago, uh, and they lose weight recently. It's quite yes. thin. Yes. Uh, quite thin. No diarrhea, right? No. no, no diarrhea. But no, pee a lot and drink a lot. Nah. Yes. And lethargic, right? Yes. So he had been given a painkiller tramadol to last two days, right? Mm, correct. One, uh, how many tablets? Tramadol, uh, one, and a half. one and a half tablets two times a day, and Clavex antibiotics also two times a day, right? Correct. Did he say any fever? No, no fever. No fever. So, yeah, mm -hmm. some of these cases they don't have. The treatment for pyometra is to surgically remove the uterus and ovaries of the dog as soon as possible. As dogs are usually quite ill when diagnosed, IV drips are usually given before and after surgery. Okay, so I advise the owner is to give the IV drip antibiotics and a protein and then a bit till tomorrow, which is 12 hours later. So the dog has a better chance of um, survival on the anaesthetic. And, but we can still do it today, but uh, I wouldn't advise it. Mm. But if the owner wants to do it today, then uh, it's, it's uh, more risky. Uh. 12 hours after two bottles of drip and antibiotics IV, this golden retriever with bloody vagina, vagina discharge two months after her last hit looks much better and can stand up. Yesterday she couldn't stand up much. Uh, she's been cleaned up and uh, she'll be better state, in a better state for anesthesia and surgery this afternoon. Now it's about 9 a.m. January 15, 2015. You can see the color of the tongue. Is much more normal and uh, there's no dehydration now. You can feel the skin. 
no dehydration and uh, she did pass out a lot but the bloody vagina is shut overnight and that's why she had to be bathed. After the operation, a review of the case was made by Dr. Singh. January 15, 2015, this is a case of open pemetra. Now this 13 years old female golden retriever had just been operated one hour ago. And uh, as you can see, her gums are very pale. You can see the gums are very pale because of the operation. And, uh, now, so the, the operation is called a spay, where the, the uterus was removed from inside the body, and then the uterus is here. As you can see, so this one of the much previous 30 years old has reddish brown vagina discharge. The blood test shows leukocytosis and neutrophilia, which is an indication of a bacterial infection of the blood. And uh, the ovaries and interest taken out is already the base about 250 grams. Now I could feel the from abdominal palpation, I could feel the the diameter of the uterine body. I was saying that it was four centimeter. Let's see, is it four centimeter? If you do a lot of palpation, you can feel it. It's about two two centimeter to three. Depends on the. Uh, about three centimeter, three centimeter. So about four centimeter, three centimeter. You can feel the the tube in the abdomen. So if you practice every dog, every female dog, you practice, practice, then you you will know whether uh, the dog has hyometra or not from just abdominal palpation. So now, now what we do is we look at the uterus. Now this is the dirty brownish red uh, vagina discharge. Now we cut. Cutting up the uterus that was removed, we are able to see the copious amounts of bloody and pussy discharge present in the uterine body, and later along the uterine horns. It is no wonder that this golden retriever had become so weak from her illness. Hence, pyometra is not something to be taken lightly. This is the dirty blood coming out, which the owner was saying that uh, every day the dog was passing this way around. Now, this one is a very interesting case. You rarely see this, or I rarely see this. Now, these are the uterine cysts. And uh, you can see that uh, white biometra is called cystic entrometrial hyperplasia because these are the cysts. That's why it's called cystic entrometrial hyperplasia. Hyperplasia. And uh, all these cysts is very rare. You cannot find. Most of the cases you see like this only there, these most cases. And normally the cyst actually is referred to inside, entrometrium. But this cyst is outside, outside the uterus, so it's very rare. Now we come now with the cut, and you will see it's full of uh, blood. Uh, same thing, you see? Full of pass again. So, what we are going to do is, we are going to remove the cyst again. Now, this is so the dog is, is uh, old already, and the bacteria goes in from the cervix and then infect the whole uterus. Uh, this happens, this pyometra is called open because the cervix is open and you get this uh, pus coming out every day. So antibiotics, this dog has antibiotics, so this pus looks cleaner. It doesn't look so dirty brown. But uh, this causes anemia because uh, the dog is bleeding actually. Bleeding. And uh, that's why the gums are pale. The, the red blood cells are, are lower now. Uh, the chances of survival of the old, old female dog, especially when it's sick, survival from anesthesia and after anesthesia are not so good. So this dog, we still don't know whether whether she will survive. Now you can see that she's very weak. Huh? What anesthesia given? Yes. Yes, yes. Yes, only. No, yes, only. Yes, only. Yes, only. Domino Academy plus isoprene gas. So this dog actually is quite weak. Now, normally, if a young dog, you will be standing around and jumping around uh, one and a half hours after surgery. Now, uh, so my advice is that when your when your female dog is young, 
to us to prevent uh, all these uh, worries about dog dying by anesthetic or the high medical cost of surgery. Now some clinic charge three thousand dollars to do this uh, by trust pay. So to prevent all these uh, worries of finance and uh, the health of the dog, of the whole dog, it's best to sterilize or spay a female dog when she's young. And when she's young, she can feed the anesthetic and nearly 100 percent she will die from post hoc or during operation anesthesia. So uh, this I hope this uh, video will help certain dog owners to understand that it's best to sterilize the female dog. So this explains why the dog had become so drained of energy. As it was too difficult for her to stand up, she had to be carried back into the clinic to be treated with more IV drips and to recuperate. A follow-up call to check on the dog's condition showed positive signs of recovery. Although she had difficulty getting up a few days after surgery, she could finally walk on the day of the call. There was no longer any bleeding from her vagina. She was regaining her appetite, although slowly. She was drinking and peeing normally and was overall more active. Let this be a lesson for all pet owners to understand the importance of early sterilization in their pets and the risks that can be present even during medical treatment. For more videos, please check us out at topayovets.com. Thank you for watching.